Oh my god, I got this rocket chair and I'm like obsessed with it. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Uh, welcome to my channel. Like and subscribe. And um, that's it, you know. This is um, a, like dream interpretation channel. I see like all of my favorite celebrities that I used to really like. <laughs> like I literally like listened to their music like my whole life. Okay? <laughs> and I just like recently... Um, not recent but it's been like three or four years i just started listening to worship music because i just kept ha like the same things just kept happening to me over and over and over so i um decided to like listen to worship music because i'm a righteous person um god didn't create me to like live in the world you know what does the bible say like we're we're a part of the world but we're not of the world you know what i mean so i all of all those celebrities I talk about, I dream about all of them. Um, they're all of my old favorite celebrities. Like I still think they're beautiful and stuff. And you know, uh, I, like I have like all these. I've given my testimony many times about like all these crazy things that's happened to me in the past. Like when I stopped listening to like their music and I started listening to like uh, worship music and like I had all these dreams that I was like being forced into like a demonic contract and physically that never happened okay like i have never been like into any like cultic practices or any type of witchcraft or like anything weird like that but for some reason i was just like having all these dreams that like that that's that was happening to me so this video is kind of like now i understand why um all these things happened because of like the things that i was physically buying like i was like looking around my apartment and seeing like all this weird stuff that I own that I saw is beautiful but you know when you're spiritually blind you have to ask the Holy Spirit to, to open the eyes of your heart like I think it was Paul or Peter wrote a letter that he would pray that God would open the eyes of these people's hearts so that they can see and you know I have a, a verse from Proverbs 23:23. it says of 22 and 23 it says listen to your father since you are his son and do not despise your mother because she is old buy truth and do not sell it that is by wisdom discipline and understanding okay so in these dreams so i'm gonna like list some <laughs> some youtube videos down here hopefully of like uh dreams that i can see now and I, exactly what they represent and what exactly I owned that represented this occurrence in this vision. And um, I'm gonna like talk about some of that stuff today. So in these dreams, I saw uh, Kim Kardashian. Um, who else? I saw Candy Burroughs. Um, I spoke, I called Cardi B in this dream. Um, who else do I see? Uh, Blueface and drake i see drake drake's like my favorite rapper of all time in the past <laughs> so first of all i want to say like i had this dream about this alien and drake and french montana that he was like uh forcing me into a, like a contract of hardships okay with an alien like an alien represents like a fallen angel or like hardships because of like envy or or deceit okay or like unfaithfulness so like I had this bedroom set, like I got a new one, it's so beautiful, it's all white, like what I'm wearing. Anyways, this is my bedroom set now, and like I have like a beautiful dresser to match it. I have like my whole little like holy thing going on back there. Don't hate on Jesus, okay? Anyways, <laughs> so like i had this beautiful bedroom set okay like i had a dream about this with like him kim kardashian and this bag like it's called like a, a baby a bag and like something like that with kim kardashian it was like one of the first videos i ever posted and that's like where this guy hands me this bag of rice and tells me if a snake comes out of it then you know you're, you're more powerful than these people that are doing witchcraft in this house so you know i had this beautiful bedroom set it was gray but it was like pattern like a snake okay uh when i bought it 
I didn't like think anything of it. I just thought it was like, oh my God, it has the mirrors. I always wanted one with mirrors and you know, like one of those beautiful bedroom sets with all the mirrors, you know? So I bought, I bought this beautiful bedroom set, paid a lot of money for it. When I first moved in my apartment, I was so excited about this furniture. And as soon as I moved in and had that furniture, like all these horrible things started happening to me, like horrible, horrible things, okay? Like that bedroom set, literally represented this like covenant with this like evil thing that i saw in this vision like i know now all my visions represent like every single thing i own and every time i go out and buy something that's not from the kingdom of heaven i have a vision about it okay sometimes it's good and sometimes it's bad so like it's just like sometimes i'll i'll buy something that'll give me revelation about something else and then i'll have a vision about this new good thing that i have that's like showing me about something from that I own in the past that I just like have and because I like worship God and I'm studying spiritual wisdom because I asked God for for that gift and for prophecy and he blessed me with it thank you Lord and I, I can kind of tell like what stuff represents now like I have like all these cheetah like everything cheetah you know I like I like physically was possessed in the past and it's because of the music I was listening to. I was believing lies in the spirit and buying all this like demonic crap because I couldn't see in the spirit. Like this bed, the snake's um, design reflection on the bed. That's just like not true. That means that, it, that this is like a reflection of a covenant with strength and like lies and all this stuff. That's not true about me at all. I hate lying. I am probably the most honest person y'all ever go on me. So, like, I love God and I obey his His commands, you know what I mean? So that bedroom says, like, n have absolutely no, like, uh, no, like, relation to my identity whatsoever. And I think that's why I got so sick and I almost, like, died in the hospital because I had my gallbladder removed. Because I was just, like, buying all this crap, okay? Like, cheetahs in the Bible are not good, okay? Like... That means in the book of Revelation, you know, he talks about a leopard coming out of the ocean. And this leopard um, with wings has like authority to like torture these prophets or the people for like a really long time because they have authority from the devil. Okay. So like these leopards like represent suffering. Hold on a second. So like, I literally had like, uh, shirts, bras, uh, undergarments, like leopard, 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 le everything leopard. I like was obsessed with leopards before, like cheetahs. Like I seen myself painted as a leopard. That means like, because of the music I was listening to, I was believing this lie that I was an authority for the devil or some crap. And that's why I was buying all this like stuff that has absolutely nothing to do with my identity whatsoever. And, um, you know, I know that I've been listening to God for a long time, listening to the kingdom of heaven and their worship. So I know that um, the kingdom of heaven is like moving in my life. Like they coming in here, they getting in here and they staying because that's the truth about my soul, you know? So I got rid of that like bedroom set represented this like evil covenant that I saw in a dream. Like everyone's like thinking I'm crazy because I'm talking about it and asking for prayer for it. You know, I think I seen that dream before it even happened physically, and I wasn't able to do anything about it because I can't, I couldn't see in the spirit, but I can now, and I know that every single thing I see is because, like, me and Milena go out and go shopping, I'll have to go shopping and buy some toy. Sometimes everything you buy is not good, okay? Like, you need to open your eyes. Like, fairy crap and butterflies. Like, the Bible says that any insect that walks on four legs is detestable to him, so, like... I had this butterfly thing, okay? And it was like bronze, it was beautiful. I bought it from the Bahamas. It had like stained glass, a butterfly. It was like a wind chime and it was all bronze. And it had like yellow and blue and purple. And like the chime on the bottom, it had like a little triangle at the bottom, a blue triangle. And I had it on my wall because it's just so beautiful. I don't have like a house to hang it outside. So I put it on my wall. 
and I was like looking at it, you know, like bronze, the color bronze can represent like the feet of Jesus, you know, like the, because it's in the book of Revelations when they're describing Jesus, he has feet like burnished bronze, like the movement, like your own movement, the way you move stuff around and place things in your home, that was like representing the movement of this like bug of like servitude in the past of like maybe a drug addiction perhaps, okay? So like I saw that, I chucked it. No way I'm gonna be worshiping, um, you know, like being a slave to like a drug addiction or something that's horrible in my life or having some fake covenant that I'm not even aware of with like an identity that's not even mine, okay? Like I was like looking through my jewelry and finding like all these weird things that's natural about me. Like I bought these beautiful pearls, but it has like a gold chain you know, like that represents that I am testing the truth in the spirit. I would never test the truth, okay? The Bible says to test the spirits, not the truth, okay? Test the spirits to make sure that they're of God. So I'm going to read some scripture, like where he talks about these things. And um, and he's like uh, breathing life into these dry bones. And I think it like represents like all of the favor in your Everything you buy, everything you own, you need to buy with... Um, with like wisdom of the Holy Spirit to, to lead you in, in everything you purchase so that you don't end up uh, with a false identity in the spirit because you can't see, okay? So I'm just gonna talk about some dreams I had, you know? Again, I have many dreams of my babies being shamed. And I know it's because I'm like buying stuff that's just not right for his spirit, okay? Like fairy crap, like that's, I, I don't even know if those LOL girl dolls are like good for her. So, you know, so basically I'm going to talk about those things, okay? I saw some celebrities, but most of this video is about, like, visions I had of, like, literally things that I own that are not serving me because they don't match my identity, okay? They're attacking my identity in Christ. So, like, I saw this, um... Uh, this uh want, this was like a few a few nights ago i saw this beautiful vision of this like beautiful bronze butterfly car okay and i was driving down the street and someone pulled out in this bronze beautiful it was like a chevy or something like a or i don't know if it was a like where the chevy logo is at i think it was like a butterfly and like you know the chevy is like a cross so like instead of that it was like a butterfly and there was like an ornament of the butterfly and it was the most beautiful car i've ever seen but i was going straight this butterfly car came out and it was facing me so it was in my path you know that that means that like in the spirit someone wanted to give me like a destiny of like uh being this like bug like a spirit of disorder that's what they wanted to like make me famous for or have like a lot of uh favor for being the, the, the spirit of disorder or hardships okay like that's like represented that butterfly on my wall i've seen like all types of like butterflies flowers you know the bible says that even the rich and wealthy will fade away like flowers okay so flowers are not like i don't think they're like that great i'm like throwing away like some like under like clothing i have of that because it's in the spirit it's, it just represents something that doesn't last it's beautiful at first but it's not lasting and um i have a heart that's lasted my whole life for god so i'm hoping that that the true identity of my heart and soul will manifest in that okay and not wither like a flower so i seen like my <laughs> i bought these like rose bath bombs they were like talking to each other like i told them right in his face that's what I heard. I've seen my stuff talking to each other. <laughs> like the spirit of all the things I buy, you know. What else did I see? And I seen my baby. Like her ponytail was like all like jacked up. And her hair looked all beat up. And she was like scratching her head. Like I had a dream that I was in a bed with this girl. And she had lice. <laughs> okay, now I like got out the bed and I ran. Uh, my daughter has lice because uh, she caught it at daycare, okay. And you know. I'm battling them bugs, honey. I am battling the bugs. But them lice came from, like, this, I think this furniture I had in the past, okay? Because in the dream, I was in a bed when I realized that that's what it was, okay? Like, in the spirit, lice can mean, like, defiling thoughts and stuff. 
my bedroom side was like in the spirit was like a reflection of lies nothing but lies okay not my true identity or my daughter's at all so i saw that and then i saw this little fairy ring that i got my daughter it came in like a little cage and it was like a little ring with a little fairy on it like fairies in my dream interpretation book are not good so i'm probably gonna have to chop that when she's not paying attention because she's like i love all my toys and i'm like trying to go through her toys to really see like what is good and what's bad because i don't want my daughter to go through this whole thing with like a false identity by god's grace he will deliver her from that and myself because it's just not true so i had a dream um that i was calling cardi b i didn't see anything i only heard it i was like hi can i speak to cardi and she's like yeah yeah this is cardi that's funny you know <laughs> and i'm like hi this is crystal i'm from new york that means that um for some reason I was uh, calling people to uh, to lose the authority for healing, okay? I'm assuming because in the spirit, I was believing a lie, that I was the spirit of this disorder and uh, having favor for it, okay? Like this bug, this butterfly. Uh, I don't have no joy or glory in causing people disorder, okay? So that like vision represented, like maybe I bought something that means that I have favor for being this bug and causing people disorder. That's a, it's a lie, okay? So I pray God will open my eyes and show me whatever that is so I can throw it out, okay? By God's grace. Anyways, then I seen, this is when I'm like seeing the truth in these visions, okay? This was like over like the past three weeks or two weeks I had all these visions, okay? So, um, I saw this beautiful dress on the wall it was like black and white and like like dots black and white like kind of like a, you know like a confusing thing and it was just like a beautiful dress on the wall with all these lights on it like shining on it okay and like I had this painting beautiful I thought it was beautiful painting because it's like gray and silver and white and okay that whole painting represents the spirit of this disorder because it was like zigzags and then a line and then circles and then a line and then like z's and then that just means that like i was uh, being staged and framed to know the truth about one thing and then uh like the spirit of confusion drawing a line so that i can't move with this one one revelation i had and uh use god's movement and spirit to uh break free from these things like that represented that painting this beautiful vision of this dress like i put like a bunch of white things on that painting before i took it down because you know the bible says it's kind of like strange to do these things but you know god gonna free me from this curse okay i do what it takes i have faith in god so whatever <laughs> so i like put these like little tea light white candles on top of it because i know that the Bible says that the light chases away the darkness and the darkness flees and I was confused about this painting when I started realizing that everything around me was like a curse and it was not true to my identity and I started really getting scared over it and in the past I saw myself on a camera that I was possessed on this camera and I was doing things that I, I knew that was not true to myself so I'm assuming now that I'm seeing it is when I realized it in the past and now it's like manifesting and uh, breaking free of these strongholds by seeing what is not true to my identity by the things that I actually own, okay? So this like dress, this confusing thing, that means that I was protecting the position of these people um, that are confusing the hell out of me. I was protecting someone that's confusing me. That's a lie. I am fighting confusion. I fight confusion every single day. Jesus Christ says in the Bible, he says that he is a God of order, okay? Not of confusion or doubt. So. I would never do that so i took that damn thing down and put it in the basement and anything else i saw that could relate like this like evil thing like i had this vase a bronze vase but it was like shaped like footballs all over it like an x like footballs circles and i had a dream about ariana grande and she's like playing football and i've seen ariana grande's worship in the spirit she's worshiping the tail like she always has a tail that you know the bible says that we're the head and not the tail because we can stand 
okay? The tail, mermaids have a tail. They don't have feet, they can't stand. Okay, that's why he says that we are the head and not the tail. That means that he gave us uh, strength in God and strength in righteousness to stand for what's right, not lay down as the tail, okay? So I like got rid of this vase because I represented God's movement, like having a bad name. Like all these things I owned, it was like these people wanted me to be this principality for these like hardships. I mean, that probably would have killed me because it's not true at all. Thank God for revelation, okay? Then I seen this, so um, <laughs> I seen this like troll, okay? He was like laying down in a swamp. All I could see was one eye. It was green. He was laying down, okay? You know, the tail, it means you can't stand. It means you, you don't have uh, strength and righteousness to stand up for what's right. That's what the tail represents, okay? So I saw this troll. You know, a troll represents like an evil spirit. It was all dark. I couldn't see him that clearly. But he was in a swamp. And um, he had one green eye. You know, the Bible says that if your eyes are healthy, that the eyes are like the lamp to your body. If your eyes are healthy, then uh, your whole world will be healthy and you'll be filled with light and joy, okay? But if you have unhealthy eyes, he says, like, how great is the darkness if you have unhealthy eyes, okay? So that means that there was, like, lies in my, something I own or lies in the spirit about envy. And, um, you know, I used to have, like, all these paper, all this paperwork in this, like, green envelope that I owned. So I'm like finding all these like green things and like taking my stuff out of there and like throwing it away because I am not an envious person. Never have been. Like I hate envy. I mean, <sighs> anyways, is this gold? I thought it was gold. So that means that I, I myself was lying down to see like the beauty of envy that's not true about me it's a lie okay and I've seen it dark because it's a lie okay I'm just gonna look up what a swamp is because that was like what I saw it was like smoke come in I hey, you the bathroom okay go 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 me and my baby took pictures today so cute right yeah Shut the door, okay? I'm sorry. I know swamp is not good. That's the show. So, like, I literally see, like, good and bad things. Like, I bought this beautiful horse for my daughter. It's so pretty. I had visions of that horse a long time ago. It was like an army from the kingdom of heaven. Like that's how much I, that's like, like the favor I have to that horse because it's so beautiful. It was literally an army of uh, Christians in that horse. It was so cool. That vision was so amazing, so cool. Swamp, no flow of the spirit, no output, quenching the spirit, stagnant water, bogged down. So that vision of that troll lying down for envy represents that I was lying down for lies about having no spirit of God, no righteousness, uh, a, being a spirit of oppression like this bug. You know, be in the spirit of this disorder and hardship. That's a Okay. I ain't laying down for no damn lies like that in the spirit. So I pray that God will open my eyes in the future to never have to, like, buy anything like that again. Because it's a lie. They wanted me to lay down for lies. Or I bought something that would indicate in the spirit that I'm lying down for lies about envy. And having no righteous uh, spirit within me. Like, just being led by the flesh. It's a lie. Okay. What, baby? <laughs> Hold on, Melina. Then I saw, uh, like, the Matrix, okay? You know when, like, uh, 
Keanu Reeves answers that call from this girl. I forgot her name. What's her name? <laughs> they bring him into the car and they sit him down under that bridge. And there's a bug in his stomach. And he had a dream about it the night before that they were putting a bug in his stomach. Like with the agents, you know, in that movie. Like he, he thought it was a dream. And then he woke up and realized it wasn't a dream. It was an actual bug. And like you could purchase things that are like bugs in the spirit, okay? So you need to be careful what you buy. And um, they use this like gun and then like a light shoots from it and they find the bug and they get the bug out, okay? Like I had a dream that there was something like that happening to me. Like they had me down and there was like so much light everywhere. And they had this tube by my stomach and they were getting ready to pull this bug out of my soul. Like this, uh, these lies, you know? Like the furniture I had that I got rid of, I think that that represents that. Oh, I love this bedroom set. And um, then I seen like, I had visions of like Milena's toys. Like they were all scared of me for some reason. But fear represents like wisdom in the Bible. What baby? <laughs> you know, the Bible says that it's good to fear the Lord, okay? So that means that I was gonna have wisdom about all these, all these spirits of all these things, okay? Because the like animals in the Bible can represent like spirits. Hold on one second. I have to wipe my daughter's butt. like a really like coming along video so um, I had visions of like actual animals and I had visions of like her toys you know in the book of Ezekiel or is it a God talks about like renewing someone and giving them a new spirit and a new world and more animals than anything and uh, you know I'm assuming like animals can represent anything like you know, this could represent like the fruit of the spirit. Like maybe this represents like fruitful words by God's grace. So I think when God talks about the animals, he's speaking about like, like everything you need to fulfill your world, okay? Maybe that's what they mean. <laughs> so I seen a blue face on the stage. <clears throat> he was like, he was in black and white. He was like smiling walking on the stage that just means that he wanted to uh kill the truth about like the strength of the stage okay like i have like a little white cake stand and i just like put things on it because i think it's cute and like i feel like i guess in the spirit maybe that's what that represented but him doing that means that he wanted to uh kill the truth about the strength of uh, being staged by something sinful like listening to worldly music when I'm a righteous person and believing that I'm like one of them or like if I'm really sinful and, and uh, living out this life as this annoyance of disorder you know it's just it's fake it's a lie mommy I love you I love you like I've seen Blueface giving me wisdom in the past like chains that he took from someone else and like gave it to me you know so I think that um, he could possibly like represent someone um, sinful, but he did a good thing because he gave me like the truth, okay? I think he was like an all white, he was like flying. So, all white? Yeah, I think he might represent like my, my he's daughter's like father. He's like all white and he's flying? Yeah, because um, 
all of the pictures and stuff I have for my father, like the promise for my daughter, like he, that man literally gave me a promise for the truth. So I've seen like Blueface as that person for some reason. Blueface? <laughs> and I seen like Candy Mom, Burl like sky. smiling. Like this I think that, can, that she represented me like this going to school sticker. for nuclear medicine in the past. So like I know that like I've seen favor from my family trying to help me get a job like from what I graduated from like over 10 years ago. And um, you know, I saw this. I also had other visions of like Drake, like I was praying and I saw Drake like clapping like. Clapping? Then, like, Can I clapping noise? Yeah, like I bought incense, you know? Because in the Bible, you buy incense? incense re could represent like prayer to God. So like I started burning a lot of incense because I love to pray. Like that's true to my soul and my spirit. So I started buying a bunch of incense. Buy I have like frankincense and strawberry. So like oh, I seen yeah, uh, Drake. Like giving me applause for the truth um, in the spirit, okay? In your dream? Like he posted that like really cute picture with Adonis and all them like white balls in his. Uh, in your dream? Mm hmm. And his like Instagram. I mean, I have seen him as a betrayal. So I'm not sure if it's a betrayal because I was gonna have some type of success for this like uh, life of hardships I've lived. You know, I. What I want and desire is not to be famous for something that I'm not. Okay. So. Then I had like, the last like couple dreams I had was like, I bought this white tail. This was before I realized <laughs> what the tail was. Okay? A white tail? The truth about the tail. It was just like a white uh, glass a white? mermaid tail. Like nothing else, just like a mermaid tail. A mermaid tail? And I bought it. Um, you bought like a mermaid tail? Yeah, I remember the mermaid tail. Mm -hmm. And that was like before mine? I had my white furniture. Like mine? Yeah, and I have like terrifying visions at night. Like I seen a... Uh, uh, my mermaid tail? Yeah. The same mermaid tail? tail? No, not the same. So then, um, like I had a vision of like all these mermaids. <laughs> like I apparently brought a bunch of mermaids into my apartment or my soul when I bought buy them. a bunch of mermaids? And they were all just like holding staffs. There was like a bunch of them, like a line of them. Like, like you like your bunch, you like buy a dream about mama, that before you buy, and it was like, scary. Mama, you buy like a bunch of like mermaids? Like favorite, I saw this mermaid underwater and it put its hand on this little ship I was in under the water, like a little ball. It was creepy. It was exactly like that uh, mermaid that's, documentary. I like read that documentary scary. before. We saw like a mermaid under the water. Yeah. Yeah. Mermaids love to swim underneath the sea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They like <laughs> to do that. Yeah. They like to swim, 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 swim. It's like Ariel. Mm hmm. Ariel watches yeah. by the mermaid. So, um. What kind of mermaid did you saw underneath the water? I'm gonna talk about it right now. So there was like I had a vision of all these mermaids. Um, they all had spears. Spears? Yeah, it was kind of like a black and white vision, so it could just represent yeah, lives. That's weird. And um, they were just looking at me like, okay, like, why are we here? They're like, looking <laughs> like they're looking at me like, you love God, why are we here? <laughs> they were just like confused. Like they had their staffs. <laughs> they were like, you know. <laughs> and then like I saw that and then it like got really like, scary the and then I saw all these like sharp teeth. It was terrifying. So I like returned that thing. Um the scary dreams went away. And uh, the scary dreams went away. Yeah. <clears throat> and I had a dream that I was like driving with the right hand and I, I the cops were behind me all scared they were gonna pull me over for some reason. That just means like now I have a covenant with the truth. I have a white bee. Okay spirit of truth thank god and i like had a dream about like all these llamas and melena too like melena was like sitting at a table at, a, at a bench with all her uh with all her um friends all her cousins and they're like the the things that she was doing was saying that like hardships like self-destruction hardships and self-destruction I was seeing it's them. Like on mom, God. It's mom, never mom. Wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to cut the So I was seeing them at the table with all my cousins? Yeah. Oh. And what did my cousin look like? You know who your cousins are, girl? Delani and Nala. 
Oh yeah, they're my friends. That means we like bought something that would represent um, like the truth about her soul, you know, that she's not gonna like ever be addicted to like drugs or anything like that, by God's grace, you know? Like we bought like little- um, Oh, this is so pretty. I have like this little necklace with a rainbow and like silver that i got from the dollar store it's so cute i had it like on a hook on the wall but like hooks i don't think are good hooks on the wall. that was representing like a promise a for a promise drink. like i've seen like Nicki minaj's like that i thought she was like uh, represented like a spirit of destruction but i like I, looking at her music and stuff i think that she might have like struggled with like drug problems <laughs> so that's like pretty much it on like the dreams <laughs> Mommy, I like your phone. Okay, thank you. I'm just gonna read like a little bit of scripture about some of this stuff. Again, you know, Proverbs 23 23, he says, Buy the truth and do not sell it. I'm going down. That is, by wisdom, discipline, and understanding. Mommy, okay. quiz me, quiz me, quiz me. Okay, go. So I can read my scripture, girl. Hello. <laughs> I'm walking. Walking. <laughs> so that's really a fun walking chair. <coughs> I think that this verse represents me like seeing this stuff and getting rid of it. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel 36, 24. Is this like a cool <coughs> so you want Excuse me. Man, so you can have any colors you want here? Yeah. Awesome. This is a good pen to have. And then you're writing for beauty. Whoa, 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 that's I, awesome. Uh, greatly admire beauty. I hate envy. So, verse 24 of Ezekiel 36, he says, I will take you from the nations and gather you from every country. Okay, go. I will bring you back to your own land. I will sprinkle clean water on you and make you clean instead of unclean. Then I will cleanse you from all your idols. I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit in you. I, remove, I will remove your stubborn Mama, hearts and give you obedient I hearts. This? I will put Mama, my spirit Mama. in you. Elena, wait a second. Okay? So, he says, I will remove your idols, okay? Like, even if you don't worship false idols. Like, I used to love things that I owned. Like, I had this black and blue notebook. Like, you write with a gel. Like, you know? And I had, like, all these stickers on it. Like, that book literally represented, like, death to my human spirit. And believe in lies I, I had that since i was like 12 years old and i had this like uh book like a what is it winnie the pooh book and it had like a butterfly on it and it's yellow and i like love that book i was like oh my god it's like my favorite thing in the whole world like that was an <gasps> idol i'm assuming yeah. but that book represented like wisdom <laughs> So, like, that book represented, like, wisdom of the glory of this bug. Okay. What kind this, of bug? Like, spirit bug? of disorder. What kind of Elena. bug? What is it? Like a little bug. Um, do like a hand? Let me finish my video, okay? okay. <laughs> so, I, like, got rid of that book. Um, because I was just seeing, like, all these bad things. Like, all this stuff that's not true. And, you know, when you give your testimony about your past, you know, the, the, the light exposes the darkness. I was worshipping this, like, thing that I stole <laughs> when I was a kid. Melena, stop it! Okay. And, uh, like, I, like, love this thing for some reason. I, like, love this Winnie the Pooh book. It was, like, so adorable. And I have, like, the pages were, like, uh, like, silver, you know? Like, at the, the rims were silver. It was so cute, but I got rid of it because I seen it as like a, like the glory of being like a bug, like of disorder. I don't want, like I already lived the life of disorder. I'm not about to um, accept like favor for destruction on my life. No, thank you, okay? So I got rid of that. I ripped the freaking black pages off of my notebook. The cover was black and the pages were like blue. Okay, like if you interpret, and in if you can interpret dreams or have wisdom in the spirit it represents death to your human spirit because you're believing lies so i got rid of that or like ripped out the stuff and got rid of some of the stickers i saw as like evil like i had a little sticker of this black girl writing with the feather or something like that and then behind it was like black and white that represents like 
this like sinful thing losing authority in my life um like they were killing the truth about it like then like in the spirit i was like agreeing by owing this little sticker that i was gonna not know the truth that these people can't write for me because i love jesus christ it's like weird you gotta like look through your stuff if you're having problems and find that thing and get rid of it because that's what i'm doing okay so now i'm talking from uh, the book of ezekiel <laughs> Ezekiel 37, okay? He says, The power of the Lord came over me. The Lord brought me out by his spirit and put me down in the middle of a valley. The valley was uh, filled with bones. He led me all around them. I saw that there were very many bones at the bottom of the valley, and they were very dry. Then he asked me, Son of man, can these bones live? I answered, Only you know, Almighty Lord. Then he said to me, Prophesy to these bones, tell them. Dry bones, listen to the word of the Lord. This is what the Almighty Lord says to the bones. I will cause breath to enter you and you will live. I will put ligaments on you, place muscles on you, and cover you with skin. I will put breath in you and you will live. And you will know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as, as I was commanded. While I was prophesying, suddenly there was a rattling noise. And the bones came together, one bone attaching itself to another. As I looked, I saw that ligaments were on them muscles around them and skin covered them yet there was no breath in them then the lord said to me prophesy to the breath prophesy son of man tell the breath this is what the almighty lord says come from the four winds breathe and breathe on these people who were killed so that they may live so i prophesied as he commanded me and the breath entered them then they came to life and stood on their feet there were enough of them to form a very large army the Lord also said to me, son of man, all the people of Israel are like these bones. The people say, you know, the people of Israel represent the, the kingdom of heaven, okay? Not the kingdom of darkness or like anything that would possibly represent me, uh, this notebook that represented me like death to my human spirit. Okay, I'm not like speaking about that. I'm talking about uh, things that I own that I feel represent the scripture, okay? So, son of man, all the people of Israel are like these bones. The people say, our bones are dry and our hope has vanished. We are completely destroyed, so prophesy. Tell them, this is what the Almighty Lord says. My people, I will open your graves and take you out of them. I will bring you to Israel. Then my people, then my people, you will know that I am the Lord, because I will open your graves and bring you out of your graves. I will put my spirit in you, and you will live. I will place you in your own land. Then you will know that I, the Lord, have spoken and have done it, declares the Lord. The Lord spoke his word to me again. He said, Son of man, take a stick and write on it. For Judah and for the Israelites who are associated with it, then take another stick and write on it. The stick of Ephraim for Joseph and for all the people of Israel associated with it. Then join both sticks together so that they will be one in your hand. Your people will say to you, tell us what you mean by this. Then say to them, this is what the Almighty Lord says. I will take Joseph's stick, which is in Ephraim's hand, and the tribes of Israel associated with it, and I will put them with Judah's stick. I will make them into one stick, and they will be in my hand. Then you will hold the sticks in your hand. Let the people see them. Then tell them, this is what the Almighty Lord says. I will take the Israelites out of the nations where they've gone. I will gather them from everywhere and bring them to their own land. I will form them into one nation and the land of the mountains of Israel. One king will rule all of them. They will no longer be two nations or be divided into two, ki two kingdoms. They will no longer dishonor themselves with their idols, with their detestable things, or with their, their rebellious acts. Okay? So, verse 23, he says, They will no longer dishonor themselves with their idols. Okay? Like, I idolized, like, things I've owned in the past, but they were detestable to God and I couldn't see in the spirit. I will forgive them for all the times they turned away from me and sinned. I will cleanse them so that they will be my people and I will be their God. My servant David will be their king and all of them will have one shepherd. They will live by my rules. They will obey my laws. They will live in the land that I gave my servant Jacob, the land where their ancestors lived. They, their children and their grandchildren will live in it permanently. My servant David will always be their prince. I will promise them peace 
This promise will last forever. I will establish them, make them increase in, num increase in number, and put my holy place among them permanently. My dwelling place will be with them. I will be their God and they will be my people. Then the nations will know that I, the Lord, have set Israel apart as holy, because my holy place will be among them permanently. Ooh, praise Jesus. Praise King Jesus. Ooh, I love Jesus and I love the Bible. So, <laughs> I think like that verse like represents like the revelation of me like realizing that I have like things that are good but aren't speaking and like seeing things that are bad is like my favorite things on, on everything I own and it's like a curse item so um you know God is gracious and he is good I've had dreams where I'm like literally saying like that I was deceived okay I was deceived I would never uh, buy something that's not true to my soul that's just a lie so when y'all out there shopping y'all best be careful and ask god to uh guide them hands to uh to purchase things that are true to your soul and um not true to to just the celebrities that you like okay it's maybe true about them it's not true about me okay so um, again like and subscribe hope you guys enjoyed this video keep on keeping on pray against this uh coronavirus and um, that's it. Bye.